Hey everybody, Boxing Bell coming back at you. Realized I haven't had Deadpool in one of my videos in a while. Um, Harlequin's downstairs. She was getting a drink of water, so I didn't want to bother her. You know, if my snakes are doing something, like if they're in their hide or if they're, you know, getting a drink, I leave them alone. But uh, probably another reason why I wanted to get one of my blood pythons out is, well, actually there's two reasons. One is Martin at Morph Ops, um, great guy. He loves blood pythons, so I, I had to get one of mine out just to share with them and to share with all you guys too. Look at the beauty of these blood pythons. Look how beautiful this is. This is a, a, T -pos a VPI T positive cherry bomb stripe line. So, a lot going on with this beautiful car uh, carpet. Carpet. You're, uh, you're not a carpet, you're a blood python. As you can tell, I absolutely love. Deadpool, I love my blood pythons. I definitely got to add more of these guys. These guys are awesome. If you don't have one, get one. They are just such a great, awesome snake to own. Very strong. Heaviest hitters when it comes to when they take food. And as you can see, like I've said in other videos, they're chunky snakes, but as you can tell, I don't keep my snakes fat at all. I keep them healthy. And you can see just how long he really is. I mean, he's as long as my arm is. And so that's actually pretty good. Um, another reason why I want to do this this video is uh, Martin's uh, Martin's Morph Ops on Instagram, and I'll leave a link to his Instagram. Go go check him out, and give him a follow. He is giving a 2,000 subscriber giveaway on his Instagram for it's a what is it again? It's a Pastel Mystic Hit Ghost. I mean, how cool is that? So definitely. And I'll leave a link in the description to his Instagram. Go check his Instagram out. Enter that contest. It's a great giveaway. It's a gorgeous snake. It's it's a must go to. Um, another reason why I wanted to bring out one of my blood pythons is because you know I've heard a couple people. Um, I think it was brought up in the podcast about how blood pythons back in the day used to be so nasty, and you know they said that Kevin McClurry's video changed their mind on blood pythons, and. Ed Lilly changed my mind on blood pythons. And so I wanted to share this with you guys and once again to show you just how friendly they really are. When you get a, a, a captive bred blood python that has, you know, been captive bred for a long time, a major generation, you can just see how it is. Look at he does not mind me rubbing his chin. He I'm not he doesn't enjoy it. They don't get pleasure out of that. That's a human emotion. But he doesn't mind it. He let he tolerates it. Both my blood pythons are excellent that way. They are such a good snake to own, and they're they're different from ball pythons and carpets and even my boas. These guys, they they'll hide under their substrate. They'll come out. They they really they're they're just awesome ambush predators, and it's cool. And they're just incredible. And the, another thing is they will hold their pee and poop for like eleven weeks. So you know you can pretty much shut your clock to it. Uh, mine go about every six weeks and I can pretty much set my clock to about the six week they're gonna go pee and poop and when they go they go but that's what's cool it's not an every week thing where they're going to the bathroom they hold it you know and so it's really neat to watch and they constantly as they get bigger they constantly change and he's only gonna get redder which is really cool and and you can already start to see the the color change going in up on around his neck and head area I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And then, like, if you look under here, underneath the belly, look how that, it's just a clear belly. Boy, I cannot pronounce my words today. But that's okay. I'm getting to share a, one of my awesome snakes off with you guys. Priest, what's your favorite thing about the blood pythons? Because I know you are always going and looking at them. Uh, one of my favorite things about them is uh, how how like they work, how they operate, how they're always under the substrate, how they're always hiding, you know, and then you can when, just see their eyes. Yeah. It's really cool how they kinda wanna stay hidden, you know, and when they come out it's amazing. They have awesome patterning and they're one of the heaviest hitters yes. when they when they uh you know, when it's feeding time. They are just so beautiful to look at. They are. They, it's I'm telling you, if you don't have a blood python, please do your research get learn as much as you can about them and if, and if you think it's the right pet for you get one because they are just they're an incredible species of snake to own i am so happy 
that I had the pleasure of owning two, and I want to own more. And I know there's several of you out there that have them. And if you do, please do more videos on them. Share them more. These guys need a lot more exposure. You know, they're an underrated species. You know, they have a bad reputation that is not warranted for them anymore. And so I want to spread the love on these guys a little bit more. And so I'm serious. You know, if you have them, start showing them in your videos a little bit more. Let's get these guys some more exposures. Exposure. Let's share, you know, let's let's have our community share these incredible species of snakes. And there's something for everybody out there in blood pythons and and stuff like that. I mean, they're just they're an incredible species to own. You know, you have light ones, you have dark ones, you have different morphs, you have the normals, which is it's still an, a even the normals are just mesmerizing. So I'm serious. I mean, if you're thinking about you know adding another snake to your collection give blood pythons a chance you know like I said make sure you really do your research make sure you really get to know them you know get that knowledge built up get that research built up and then I suggest you get one because you will not regret it I, I know I haven't they're just absolutely phenomenal phenomenal snakes to own they're just great I ugh, I just can't sing their praises enough and I hope that I am conveying that to you and I hope you're feeling that for me so that way you will have a change of heart maybe on this species and give them a chance. I'm serious. I, I, I am. I really am. I, it's just, it's awesome. Now, another topic I want to talk about. I want to go into one other topic. My Hero Academia came out this week on Hulu and it was an awesome episode. The season looks incredible. I can't wait. The new season of Tokyo Ghoul came out. It was a great episode. And you guys know I'm not big time into my anime, in my manga and anime stuff, but those are two animes that I absolutely enjoy. And you guys have heard me do the dad versus daughter talks on those. And and I really like those. So definitely check them out, you know. And don't forget to, you know, continue to spread the love with each other. Continue to spread that positivity. You know, don't let anything get in the way. Don't let any negativeness block you from achieving your goals and stop you from being the best you possible. I don't care what anybody says to you. I don't care what anybody does to you. It's, as they say, water off a duck's back. Be the best you possible. Don't let nothing get in the way of your success. Don't let nothing get in the way of your progress. Don't let anything stop you. Set goals for yourself and achieve them goals. You can achieve anything if you put the hard work into it. I'm serious. Don't let nothing stop you from being you and don't let anything stop you from enjoying what you're doing. Nothing should get in the way of your success except for you. And on that note, please like, click, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you would, please, if you haven't already. You know, all like always, leave a comment, and, you know, I will definitely get back to you. Just leave them comments down below, and I will get back to you, and I'll leave a link to all everything that I was talking about, so that way you guys can find them. And have a blessed and positive day, because you know I'm going to. This is Priest Behind the Camera, as always. I got Deadpool with me, one of my all-time favorite comic book uh, hero slash villain type characters. One of my favorite Marvel movies of all time, and me, Box and Bone. You guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace.